guys, how are we doing? Um, welcome to my money making guide. In this, we'll be using combat to maximize the cash per hour. All right, guys. So um, uh, I'm just gonna put this up at the at the front of the vid just so I don't have to show the gear every single time. Um, you just pretty much want your training gear or something that'll help you kill the monsters quicker. Um, whip is a very good weapon. You um. And the rapier is very good as well. That and the whip probably the two best weapons that I recommend using. Um, probably want a high strength bonus, and um, you might want defense. Depends on what you're killing, but um, usually strength is mainly what you worry about. All right, so let's get straight into this. We'll be killing tortoises, flesh crawlers, ankos, tuaroths, blue dragons, and frost dragons. Let's start off with tortoises. We'll be killing them at the gnome stronghold northwest of the tree and north of the swamp. Alright, so just head northwest past all this stuff. Um, bring a small amount of food, they won't do too much damage. Collect anything you find valuable. Tortoise shells are worth 10 to 15k, so that's the main money maker. Alright, so this method ain't huge cash, so it's mainly for lower levels that easily kill, provide you with good experience. It's about 200 to 300k cash per hour, it's not much, but it's a good start for low levels. Next we're gonna move on to flesh crawlers. These are located in the stronghold of security on the second floor, which is the floor of famine. These are very easy to kill, so um, it's another good low level earner if you've got no money, they're really easy to kill. Um, it's mainly for low levels again, it's not huge cash, but again it's a good start, probably easier than the um, other one. After 10 minutes I got 60k, so it's about 200 to 400k cash per hour, maybe more depending on your luck. Alright, next method is Ankos. These are located um, south of Edgeville in the stronghold of security again. These though are on the fourth level, which is the floor of death. So just go through these portals to easily get there. Um, I'd highly recommend bringing a self amulet for a 15% strength bonus. There is a quest requirement though.
Alright, so after 15 minutes, I got 115k, so uh, I was a little lucky and unlucky at the same time, I suppose. Um, it's 300k to 500k cash per hour, depending on your level, though, it will vary. Next is Bloom Dragons. The requirements is a dusty key or 70 agility. I'd highly recommend getting 60 dungeoneering, though. Items needed an anti fire pot or an anti dragon shield. These are located west of Falador in the Tavoli dungeon. If you've got 70 agility, it's a lot easier and it will be um, quicker cash. As you can see here, you get 6.9k per kill. Uh, used to be a lot more cash, but there's more bots, so it's only up to 800k now. Next is Tuaroths. You need 55 Slayer, a Leaf Bladed Sword or Spear, and Broad Bolts. Alright, um, the way I got there, I teleported to my house. It's in the Fremnic province, and I used the portal and just ran east from there. Um, you can also use the fairy rings as there's a portal right outside. That's probably a better um, method. You'll see me parsing it on the way. So what you want to collect here is herbs, seeds, um, anything that's valuable. They drop a torso seed quite frequently actually, it's worth about 270k. I've got quite a few from here and that's a good boost. Um, there's a lot of bots here though, that's really, really annoying. Um, a leaf bladed sword's gone down in price but they still drop them, it's about 40-45k. But um, it it's changes. Yeah, they're very good herb droppers and seed droppers. I got no luck in this clip but... Um, but later I started getting more. After 10 minutes, as you can see, I got 96k. This is a um, reasonably good um, money making method. It's about 400 to 600k per hour, depending on your luck, but usually you'll get better than this. Right, so my final method is Frost Dragons. You need 85 Dungeoneering, High Ranger Combat, 37 Prayer, Ability to use Fairy Rings, and an Anti Fire Pot is required. Collect the frost dragon bones. You can also get a dry conic facade from these. As you can see, I've got one. Just click the link there to um, see my in detail guide. All right, I'm going to start the grand exchange to get there. This time, you'll need um, access to the fairy rings for this method. So once you arrive at Mudskipper Point, just head north until you see the dungeon. Um, you want to enter that dungeon and the Frost Dragons are in a resource dungeon deeper in there. Um, so just go past these muggers and um, hobgoblins soon. And then where you hit the ice, go north and you'll see a resource dungeon. This is 85 required dungeoning to enter here. Click your prayers now, drink your potions pot up and make sure you you don't get blasted by the dragon fire. Um, I'd definitely recommend a stab 
a high stab weapon. As you can see, I use the rapier. A cannon is also recommended. You don't have to use it, but it will really make it a lot more money. Um, as you can see, they they're killed quite easily. This place can be crowded a bit, but um, just you just need to find a good world, and it's still good, great cash. Um, per kill you get 16k, this rises and drops, but per hour it's 1 to 1.5 mil cash. Well this pretty much sums up my guide, I hope it helps you out guys, I use these methods personally to gain my cash, so it definitely works.